What's going on guys? We are down in Puerto Barrios, Guatemala, which is where we have an international cleanup location. It's been a while since we've showed you our facility, so come on inside. We'll give you guys a rundown of all the awesome things we've been doing. So this is our facility. It's loaded with plastic right now. The team's been working so hard over the past year, year and a half. They've been collecting a ton of plastic and, and really just doing an amazing job. So come on over here. You guys have seen our mobile office unit. This is just our small shipping container that we have with uh, basically just standard office, restroom, computer, TV, everything we need to do for meetings. And then over here, the boom systems are, are basically ready to go. Uh, as we get GT2 spun up, these are all the large uh, industrial booms that we have that are ready to be installed to help stop plastic at the source there in, uh, in the Rio Matagua. So we're very excited to get these deployed and get these puppies uh, out in the field. So down here is where we keep all our vessels, our captains and crews. They're actually getting ready to head out in the water right now to head out to Punta Manabique to clean up some plastic. So we keep the two vessels here. We got the two skiffs, two teams ready to go. Hola amigos. We got Captain Cesar, Captain Estuardo. All right, fellas, good luck. Woo! Boom. So this is actually where when the captains go out, what they'll do is they'll go out and clean up all the plastic, they'll put it into to super sacks, the large white sacks that they use, the buckets, the bins, and all that material. When they come back, we use the same seawall, and what we do is then offload that plastic. Pangas are a boat that's used widely in Central America due to the benefits that it, it has. You know, actually here's one of our pangas right here, so let's talk about this. They're very efficient, and they're able to float very shallow due to the flat bottom, but also handle waves very well because of the, the sharp entry at the bow. It can carry eight, nine super sacks loaded with full of plastic. It can carry a very large amount of our crew. We power them by these smaller outboard engines. These are tillers, which means there's no steering wheel. It's a small tiller that is used, and the captain would sit in the back of the boat, and they'd be able to drive uh, with this, this essentially remote here. So this is a great boat to be used for collecting ocean plastic, and it's what you see almost everywhere here in Central America. So what happens is we come over here to basically our trash tracker documentation station. So <clears throat> we'll offload the plastic, it gets brought around, and this is where we film and weigh everything that we collect. So you guys know that we have our, our trash tracker, we're documenting all the pounds pulled. Every pound that's pulled is uh, weighed, photographed, and then it is sorted, classified, and prepared for recycling. So this is our weigh station. We take photos of every single uh, super sack that comes in, and then it gets brought around to our sorting area. So this is the sorting area. Cleaning up ocean plastic, it's not pretty. You know, we've got a ton of trash, a ton of stuff. You know, there's refrigerators, there's all sorts of stuff that you just, it's very, very big items that we have to process. So this is the classification area. So the full super sacks are brought into here, where then we are sorting by type uh, and condition and even color at times of the different plastic. Hola, señoritas, ¿qué tal? Then, then. Um, so right now what we're doing is sorting all the different pieces of plastic. We've got our PET, our HD, our Poly Pro. We've got them classified in the different areas, and as they get prepared, we then bail the plastic. Hola, Jenny, mi amor, mi, mi amor, mi amor. So after that, we've got all sorts of random stuff. We've got, you know, there's plastic. It's not only just bottles that we're collecting. It's wrappers, it's shoes, it's, it's hard, rigid plastics. We've got a crazy collection of uh, random finds all across the board. But right now, it's just trying to separate that plastic. One of the key things to, to be able to recycle effectively is to sort appropriately. So you have to sort and clean the items thoroughly, and then you can prepare them for recycling. So. After we do that, we then bring them down to the baler. This is where we compress them into smaller cubes that makes it more efficient for shipping. This is actually a bale right here. So over here we got the baler and this is where we're loading up a plastic. They're compressing that plastic down, wrapping it with wire, and then keeping it into that cube ready to be transported. So then after the, the bale is, is compressed, we'll then weigh each one. This is how we get a good understanding of our inventory count of how much plastic that we have. So stacked high are all our PET plastic bales, and this is the plastic that our teams recovered, you know, right from the ocean, right from the coastlines. And after we've compressed it into the, the cubes and the bale, that's where it's stored here in stage for recycling. So after this, once we reach a, a certain volume of weight that we have, our recycling partner will send a truck. We will then load up the plastic, send it to their facility where it gets flaked, hot washed, 
and pelletized to be able to be made into new products. Now those new products can be uh, our bracelets, they can be apparel, shoes, you know, basically any product that will drive awareness around the ocean plastic crisis. Our goal is to leverage this ocean plastic to eliminate the need for virgin plastic and use the recycled materials to create products that will drive awareness around the ocean plastic crisis. So that's the next step in the process.